What's up, handsome and abundant people? It's Nico Moreno here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to create a simple YouTube ad retargeting campaign. So, if you're interested in that, check out this video. Before we get into that, I also offer a couple different online business training programs for beginners who want to make their first 10K online, or if you're someone who's more advanced and already has a business or an offer that's doing five to 10K plus per month, then I also have a VIP coaching program for you guys. All right, so go ahead and check out those links down below. All right, let's get into the video, which is going to be how to set up a simple YouTube video ad retargeting campaign. And all right, let's look at some retargeting audiences. So first thing that we have to do is go to where the actual retargeting audiences are shown and created, which is in tools and settings, and then shared library and audience manager. So head over there. And then what you're going to see is some of these, they'll sort by like in use and then not in use. Some of these Google just will create for you automatically. So for example, this one is an example of one that Google would just like create for you. They, from my understanding, some of them can be useful and some of them can be um, just kind of like random and not really that helpful. So anyways, like viewed our ads that could potentially be useful, but like AdWords optimized list is very vague. So who knows like what that really is, right? And it'll tell you the size and all that good stuff right here. Okay, so let's go to one, for example, you're saying that you want to retarget people who saw a certain page. So let me just show you, like, if you hover over it, it'll tell you the size. And so this is like not enough to run uh, like any traffic to, because YouTube needs to have a thousand people in the audience at least in order to run it. So you can see right there, it says too small to serve. So it won't even run it. But let me show you, let's see if there's one. Okay. So for example, this one, this is viewed a certain page and there are enough people. Cool. So let me just dig into this audience here. And what you would do is, well here, let's go back and actually like create it. Oops. So what you would do is just go here, click plus, and then you can either do website visitors, YouTube users, which is like retargeting your channel viewers, or customer list, which would be like an email list. Um, you actually can't use this unless you've spent a certain amount of money on Google, which is kind of annoying. So you may not be able to do this yet, but here what we're gonna do is website visitors. So assuming that you have, your tags like set up, which you said you do. You can just name this like, I mean, all people who visited funnel or whatever, right? Okay, so just name it something that's gonna be useful for you. And then you just do visitors of a page or you can do visitors of a, I don't know what that one is. So just do like visitors of a page or visitors of a page who also visited another page, or so that would be like sort of a combination audience, and this would be like exclusion, right? So for you, uh, depending on what you want to do, you might just want to do like visitors of a page. And then you just do either match any rule group. This is very similar to Facebook, right? Match any rule group or match every rule group. So like they have to meet all conditions or they can just meet one of any of the conditions and then page URL contains or equals. Uh, I would just do like equals and then you can just do like the full URL and then you can also do like, and if you want to like make sure that they, again, it kind of depends on what you have here, but it's very intuitive. Like 
you'll know what to do if you need them to match all of them or some of them or whatnot, right? Cool, so then you just save that. And then you can do prefill options. So prefill list with people who also match the rules within the past 30 days. I would do this if it will let you do this. Because this is just like backdating. If your tag has been on there for 30 days, then this will automatically fill it up with people from the last 30 days. Or if you like have a reason to start with an empty list, you can. But I would do this if you want the past data. And then you just select how long you want people to stay in this audience. Um, I mean, that's kind of up to you. If you have a reason to like kick them out, like for example, if you're doing retargeting, you only want to retarget them for like seven days, and then you don't want to show them ads anymore, then you put seven days, right? And then this is just a description for you, right? Okay. So let's say we save that, we create the audience. It'll show up as the name. It'll show up in here. So like for example, all purchasers, um, or whatever, whatever we name it, right? It'll just show up in here. Okay, and then if you need to edit the name, you can. And then you're set with creating the audience. Cool. So next step, once the audience is created and it shows in here, sometimes it'll say like, it's populating or it's creating. Okay, I can't remember the exact wording, but it'll say something like populating dot, dot, dot. Okay, so that means it's just like, you're done, but it's getting ready to it's getting ready to be ready. <laughs> um, and it'll be done in like, I don't know, a couple minutes or an hour or something like that. Cool, so that's step one, like creating the audience, then actually using the audience in a campaign. I'll show you how to do that. So you set up the campaign as normal. And then I'll show you how to select like a retargeting audience. So you set everything, you just set the videos up like you would like to. Or, I mean, you do everything exactly the same, independent of its re if it's retargeting or keyword or whatever. But then what you do is, if it's retargeting, so you have your videos in here. So again, yeah, you just set everything up normal. You have your videos. And what you do is you go to audiences and you just make sure there's no keywords in there. So go to keywords and if there's any, like just remove them, right? You remove any de demographics, remove any placements. Okay. And then what you do is you add in, so click the pencil. This would not be here yet because you're creating a brand new campaign. Click the pencil and you do select ad group. So you just pick the ad group and then you go in and you find the retargeting, you find your retargeting audience. So, yeah, you just pick one of them here. Um, if it doesn't show up, you can just search for it. Or, yeah, if it doesn't show up in the search, if it doesn't show up in like suggested or search, go to browse and then how they've interacted with your business and then do this one because remarketing and similar audiences. So website visitors. Okay. So then it'll show up here. Cool. And then you just like select it and then you do save and then you're done. Cool. That's it. That's all you do. Then you just set the budget and run it and make sure it's enabled and it'll work. Cool, man. So I hope this helps and let me know if you have any other questions.